Good day everyone and welcome to Common Prayer this Wednesday morning. It's great to be with you again. Today we're looking at chapter 2 of Philippians and there's a lot in here that we, we could look at. But there's a couple of verses I, I really want us to focus on because today in the Anglican Church we are um, looking at the New Guinea martyrs and, and celebrating and remembering their life and their sacrifice they made um, all those years ago. And there's a particular re um, relevance to where I am here in Ipswich because we have a local person, Mavis Parkinson, who was one of those New Guinea martyrs. So it's quite a significant time within the church here in Ipswich and within our local community and especially with some of our schools here. But before we do, I want to encourage you to look at all of chapter 2 because it's a great chapter where Paul talks about um, having the same mind as Christ, um, that together we should have the same mindset. And there's a beautiful hymn here that Paul um, looks at that helps us to see how we should be one in Christ and have that same mindset as Christ. And he goes on about we should do everything that we do without grumbling, um, to do it with humility, to serve each other, and not to, to grumble about our differences and all that, but to get on with the work of Christ and the mission that Christ calls us to do, which is to share his love, to share the gospel, the good news. And then he goes on how he's going to send Timothy and, I hope I say this right, but if I don't, I'm sure David will correct me, Epaphroditus. And towards the end of this chapter, this is where he talks about how he's sending Epaphroditus back to, to um, the Philippians because he was one of them. He was a fellow soldier like them. And from verse 29 we read, So then, Welcome him in the Lord with great joy and honor people like him because he almost died for the work of Christ. He risked his life to make up for the help you yourselves could not give me. Friends, here's Paul saying, Welcome back, Epaphroditus. He almost gave up his life for the work of Christ. And I think that falls into today as we celebrate the New, New Guinea martyrs and, and remember them and their great sacrifice. And I think not just them, but it's also a day to remember people that have gone into the mission field. There are people all over the world, all through the centuries that have gone out into the mission field where we may not be able to go ourselves and have continued Christ's works, have carried out Christ's mission in the world. And they do that on behalf of you and me. And so I want us today to remember, especially the New Guinea Mars, Mavis, who was a teacher she was the Sunday school teacher here at St. Paul's in Ipswich and she went out to teach in New Guinea and ultimately she gave her life for Christ um, at the hands of the Japanese in World War II. So remember them. Remember those that have lost their life, those 12 New Guinea martyrs who went to proclaim Christ, to share the love of Christ and ultimately lost their life. And there are many more through the centuries. And there are even today those that are, that on our behalf have gone out and are sharing God's word. But how can we do that? We can do that in our local community. We are called still to go into the world, to share the love of Christ, to share the good news, to have a mind like Christ together, and be humble, and not to grumble, and to serve each other and those in our community. I'm going to pray for us today, and it's the prayer that we would be praying today for the New Guinea martyrs. All-powerful and everlasting God, turn our weaknesses into strength. 
as you gave the martyrs of Papua New Guinea the courage to suffer death for Christ. Give us the courage to live in faithful witness to you. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Friends, I hope you have a great day today and remember those who have gone before us who have sacrificed their life for the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. God bless.